Hey, True Believers England team here. So we are on round two of Dalton versus King Billy. This time we're arguing the best comic book character created in the 2010s. A lot of fun, some pretty good arguments made here. So let's kick back, relax, and uh, enjoy. What is the best character created in this decade from 2010 up until now? Unfortunately, because the pickings are so slim, I felt compelled to defend Riri Williams. This will be fun. <laughs> and on that note, I came up with I came up with three points to ultimately defend her because I didn't think one was going to be good enough with the crowd being what it is. So please enjoy my defense of Riri Williams, otherwise entitled "The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly." Say she's that. Say it's yeah. diverse. Well, corrupt, corrupt. It's his argument to make, man. <laughs> Starting with the good, because I think that's gonna be the hardest, uh, gonna be the hardest argument to make, given that we all yep. know that she's quasi sociopathic. <laughs> there is a thing that I think everyone ignores about her, and that is she's exactly like Tony was before his heart incident. She's self absorbed. She has everything handed to her by virtue of being the diversity hire of Marvel. She has all the advantages in the form of MIT and the Tony Stark hologram. But so did Tony. Tony was a rich, bratty, drunken yeah. moron. Yes, but she. But Tony. Hold on, hold on. Okay. This is his opening statement. Opening statement. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is her one hard time? She. Ha she's missing that one inciting heroic incident in in like joseph cambalian uh term she's missing that call all righty hold on there dalton now we got to go to I'm, i only give you about a minute for a uh opening I statement know. uh billy go on ahead who who did you choose okay who i chose was um our good donald j thump from thump the first but Days. your days i um had a really great time reading this book i thought it was very clever Especially how, like, you know, he was able to, like, essentially kick off, like, the Mary Sue. <laughs> they called him a lot of, you know, kind of obscene, like, um, labels on his book, which was pretty enjoyable. And I thought, like, you know, it was really clever how he was able to take, like, these different, like, um, like um, political figures and kind of cast them as animals and put them in this kind of children's book. Alrighty, so why is your character better and why is the other one not? Fight it out. You got five minutes. Okay, so the one flaw I see with Rudy Williams is that we, you made the comparisons between her and Tony Stark, but the one difference I see is, is that Tony Stark, at least in his early life, wasn't kind of looking, in a sense, for, like, dragons to slay and, like, demanding, like, you know, your teacher to basically make up those dragons. You know, it was no, kind of like... he had daddy issues in place of the dragons he needed to slay. Yes. So which, many daddy makes sense issues. Cause which, which to me makes sense as a character arc, but with Riri Williams, it's kind of like, it's literally kind of like she wants the adversity, you know, despite having all of these things. Because she she's wants a to act like she's with a lot of potential. And on that note, I'm going to move to my second point, which yeah. is if you if you don't want to go the straight lace, give her a call to heroism and have her suffer in order to become better route, there's the bad option, which is make her a straight up villain. As we've already established, she has the socio she has the borderline sociopathy, which can either turn into heroic arrogance like Tony's, or it could turn into straight up villainy. And even if you don't want to go the sort of DNC fanficy route, there is the third option, which is the ugly option, which I like best, which is team her up with Doctor Doom, make Doom not Tony her mentor. Because in the same way that Doom has recently undergone a little bit of a anti-heroic bend, so could she. She can take that darkness and essentially, rather than going straight Jedi or straight Sith, if I can use a Star Wars metaphor, go gray Jedi. Which makes yes, for the most interesting character anyway. 
Well, the thing is, is that these are all hypotheticals. These aren't the reality. You know, I'm coming at this from what we have been given in paper and stuff, not like making up hypo, not like thinking up hypotheticals like that fan. I mean, as fans, we like to think up hypotheticals, but what is, is that the character to me seems almost kind of generic in today's day and age, because there's just so many characters with those similar backstories and edginess and stuff that it just doesn't seem really interesting and stuff, aside from the fact that she's essentially, you know, a very smart black girl who is really, you know, who is almost as technologically, um, you know, smart as Tony Stark is. That's kind of the only thing that's going for her right now, in my opinion. Everything else just seems a little bit cliche and overdone. I feel like, like, it would have just been better to just make her more of a normal person and stuff, not really go with the whole, it has to have that dark backstory, because it just, it just kind of gets... But I don't know. You just, but you just admitted that she doesn't, in fact, have the dark backstory yet, because, like I said, uh, okay, okay she guys, dark backstory guys, in wait, what? guys, uh, hold on just a sec. It's not time yet, but I'm. I want to hear uh, from Dalton. I want to hear why Thump is not a good choice, and from Sergeant Billy, I want to hear why he is. Okay. Yeah. You can go first, King Billy. I, I'm curious. I need to hear your argument if I'm going to rebut it, so. Okay, well, I think he's just a really great character, because I think, like, the cleverness, you know, the design, almost, maybe, like, that, like, the kind of almost simplicity of the idea, you know, it just, you know, it just kind is of, it, the relevance is pretty awesome, yeah. Is it, qu here, here's the two things that I could think of to sort of rebut that. Number yeah. one, is it the character itself, as in the richness and the depth of the character that you're finding? interesting or is it the world building and the concept because world building and concept and character are two different things well and i think also, the, second i think thing, well, second i think thing, oh yeah how how long how long is this idea going to last um how long is this idea going to last after the eight years of the trump presidency is up when there are no more anti-trumpers to trigger and no more trump sycophants to pander to that well, that's the question. Well, basically, the Whereas world building. Anyway, you just you just admitted that she's potential, and I just gave you three examples of how they could spin her into a great character, despite all of the blandness that she is currently exhibiting. Well, again, I think like the, I think the background in the world is important is an important part to building up a character and stuff. And I think you know the uh, creator of Thump basically has even before the book came out has been using this character for a while and stuff. So it's kind of like, I think, like, he'll still continue to use them even after, you know, the eight years of the Trump president. If Trump does have eight years, I think yeah, the character is still going to be used. Be yeah. And Trump time. Be the Donald yeah. J. Time. Trump one. Uh, All time. <laughs> All righty, I'm going to go first on this one. Um, now, I got to say, Billy, you started off a little bit because you, you aimed more at how the writer is such a good writer rather than how the character is such a good character. I like the fact that uh, even uh, um, Dalton called you out on, tell me why the character is good, which you did make a few good points about. You did you did say he, you like the simplicity of the character. You like that he's relevant. That um, And in, in your opening, you made a statement as, as his uh, relevancy and how he is making fun of the situations that are, that are happening these days. Uh, he did hit you pretty dang hard with the uh, with the whole question about how relevant is he going to be after Trump uh, is out of the the pre uh, White House. Excuse me, I can't talk. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, now on the other side, Dalton, you started off weak because the first thing out of your mouth was Riri sociopathic. And I was hoping, and I was hoping that uh, that that Billy would have jumped on that and taken advantage, but you did make a point that she she has potential. She works as a hero or a villain. There, yeah, there's a lot of things he could have hit you on, Dalton. I'm surprised. Yeah. Um. So, oh my. So to me, it is. I, it I wasn't is right in the middle. As a hero. I was defending her as a character. Is the thing. Yeah, but so like, had you said she's not heroic. Like, I well, would have just gone. She... On the, the question is character, not hero. Yeah, and I like that. You were, you were actually, you are actually arguing, and that to what? me, the works well as a hero or a villain. That to me what? was was a strong 
was a okay, strong well, I thought, hit. Well, I thought the then, I thought attacking but, hypothetical was kind of. And like, then was I was like about to say, I think uh, Billy really hit you with that's all hypothetical and not what we've been given. My point's going to have to go to King Billy, Captain Frugal. Which way do you go? Can, can I finish? Can I finish, please? <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> um, first, yeah, Adolson started off shaky, uh, I think. And I think he actually heard his point when he was saying a lot of hypotheticals about what the character could be. Because the question is, who is the better character? So, you know, possibility doesn't really come into play too much. Though, I'm going to give him a lot of props for picking Riri and defending Riri, because that was a tough one. Uh, but... I, he did have a great punch with how long can uh, you know Donald Thump last. That that was a really good hit. But I, I will say King Billy had a stronger start, and he really did give a lot of reasons why the character was viable. You know, and mentioning about his relevance currently to the time, possibly he could outlive the satire. Being honest, if we're lo looking projection on both sides, but Donald really Trump's did. been around since before he was president, and he's going to be around for a few years anyway. After. Right. So since we're talking yeah, better yeah. character, I, I think King Billy did it better on this one. I think pulled this one out. Wow. All righty. That, uh, that pretty much solves it. Uh, King Billy won the point. Corrupt, oh, do you wow. have any notes? Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, I was going to side with Billy. I'll tell you why. Because Dalton, like, you're – Arrogant terrible. I'm sorry. But like, oh, no, no, you can't. Dude, that's out the window. You cannot judge based on your own opinions. No. It's got to be yeah, man, like, argument. Like, There you go, guys. What do you think? Do you think we made the right choice? Do you think we gave the point to the right person? Let us know in the comments below. And who would you pick for the best comic book character created in the 2010s? Kamala Khan? Shirtless Bear Fighter? Let us know once again in the comments below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And make sure your notifications are on all. Hate for you to miss anything. Cool things happen around these parts. If you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Ko-Fi or to Patreon and drop a dollar in the tip jar. Or you can consign a video. All you got to do is pick out your topic, pick out your subject, and we'll get that out to you ASAP. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching. <laughs>